rig. Um, not yet um, for Kellen. I think that's still in the works. They're, they'll be here one day this week, too. That'll be so nice. Birds are us still on. I don't have my keyboard right here, birds, but I wanted to let you know the answer is yes. And after boxes, I'll go out to my desk. Okay? Fresh. Oh, oh my goodness, Picasso, you okay, buddy? get started like in two minutes here.
I have to try and keep track of all these notes. Oh, good, Magenta. Um, oh, Nuki sun and envelope might come Monday, but we have to hold till Tuesday. And we're still waiting on Bubba, Phil and Sharon's second box to come. So, I don't think I have Nuki. Oh, yes it is. This is Nuki. And so I'm going to put Nuki. Whoop the daisy. Are you looking for I'm sorry, I'm standing right in the way, and I'm so sorry. Oops, this is the wrong one. Jackie, get it together. Okay, this one is a Tuesday nighter. <laughs> okay, I try really, really hard to keep everything um, straight, so... Um, I gotta, I gotta do one thing to the camera. Oh wait, no. This is very confusing. Which cam is doing what? Or which computer? Oh, there we go, we got it. Okay, so, as I was saying, I try really hard to keep things going straight, but... Boy, if I goof up something, I hope you guys forgive me. Yeah, so this one is from a Amazon, and it's from the Indiana Amazon. Oops. And there's got to be a paper in there. It's a good box. Oh, yay. This is the second box. Hey, Kurt, do you remember where we put hobbits for Bubba's second box set? Okay, I can get it. Er, you got it? Yeah, this is the second one. I got a note up there I can take down. Now we we've expanded our boxes. So is is Bubba on? Put Bubba's on. Okay. Well, he he told me Bubba, Bill, and Sharon said uh, that there was two boxes. We got them both now. And to hold till they both came. So they both came. So I think that that means it's okay to go ahead and open it. And it says, um, for the kitties from Sharon and Bill, a.k.a. Bubba. And we know what this is. Because it's one of their favorite treats. Oh, these are some cute little boxes. Oh, there's two kinds in these. The yellow, which is chicken, is it? Yep. And the blue, which is salmon. Salmon. And there's four of them in here. And we need to tell Asha that they're only two calories a, a piece. <laughs> Not that she cares. <laughs> Thank you, Bubba. Thank you so much. You guys know Temptations is high on the list of the kitties. And this is the one that we started to open last week when I realized it was from them and we wanted to hold this. And this also says for the kitties. And we've got baby food. High priority right now. Magenta kind of went off of her food for a couple of days. And she started eating this again today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And this one is turkey. Ah, chicken. Sometimes I can tell by the color of the food in there. Casey, did we need any of this in the cupboard in there? Do you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've only got three jars in there. I know we have a couple um, trays back there, but we'll put this up here. Thank you, Bubba. 
the bubbles. We got plenty of room. We'll just slide those right in there. Here's one more too. Can you get it in there? Mm -hmm. And also, ooh, we got boxes. We could probably use boxes. Oh gosh, what are you doing? Are you climbing the mountain? And this is also from the bubbles. Oh, yeehaw. This is the chicken, the perfectly chicken. Yeah, this is really good. The babies like it, the big guys like it, Octavia likes it, everybody likes this one. I think we'll keep one of these out also. Yeah. I think we better do that. Thank you, Bob. Both of you, Bill and Sharon, we appreciate it. Um, this is all good stuff. Good, good stuff. Okay. Do you know why we're squishier here? Because of the pole, that bottom one. Yeah, we should, maybe we're, if we ever get to do the floor, we'll have to turn that around. And this one is also from um, Amazon, and this from the Kentucky one. Oh, look at that. Paper right at the top. It says, Samantha and Peanut send hugs to all the oldsters at FFRC. They know what it's like living with a monster kitty and send their sympathy. <laughs> oh, this is from Mary to you. Oh, Mary, thank you. Buddy is sending Royal Cannon to all his baby cat friends at FFRC a little later and some litter from Mary to you. Thank you, Mary. Let's see here. Are you guys happy now? Octavia is down here trying to get into the temptations already. I've decided these cats have no shame. They, whatever it takes to get what they want, they do it. They do it, and they, it's okay by them. Oh, this is nice. Well, we better put that over there before we have a landslide. Wow. Thank you, Mary. To you. We got three three of these and they're all different ones. This one's the filet seafood. I hear you, Einstein. This one's the 24 case of the meaty bit. Another case. And I always call this one the party box because it's so bright. And this one's the filet meaty bit favorite. So thank you, Mary, to you. I like that. Yeah, Samantha and Peanuts and hugs to all the oldsters. Oh, that's nice. So we have four oldsters now, you know. Watch out, guys. I'm playing. Thank you, Mary. That'll help us a lot. I think we should just cut the kitties off from all their food and their litter. And we'll save on all of them. They'd also be clamoring in my house. This one is, well, let me see. This is from Michelin, who is from Salem, Michigan. And we've got a card here. We love cards. Oh, it's got a very pretty white kitty on the front. It says, Jackie, just a few things to use. Give to the kitties and for the volunteers. You are all super special. Thank you. Greg said his favorite candy was M&M peanuts, so I wanted him to have some for all the kitten shows he does. They are great. Thanks to all of you. Or thanks, uh, thanks to all for all your hard work. This winter will be much more exciting with kitties to watch. And this is from Michelin. Well, I think it will be very good winter with all these kitties. Ooh, not, oh, wow, these are nice. Oh, look at these. Big, big, uh, I think it's a black towel or dark navy blue. And a beautiful green one. Two, a boy, very, very, oh, and there's another one down there also. Here, guys. Whoa, you guys know I love colors. Look at this one. Wow, there. That's a cool color. Thank you. I like that. 
they our our cows do wear out. There you go. I'll make sure that Greg gets this on Wednesday and um I'll make it I'll make sure that he knows this from you, Michelin. And what's in this? Oh boy. I'm sure Greg will share. He knows we're all candy colleagues here. What is this? More kitty treats. So the kitty's got their, their two of their favorites, the Temptations, and then these are the Whisker, Whisker Lickens, and yeah, these are the soft ones, and they're really soft, and all the different flavors. Thank you, Michelin. Very, very much appreciated. Oh, looks like we, I think I better put some of those others in there, too. Octavia, is that what I just heard? Where is she, you guys? Where is she? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that, bird, that bird in there is kind of crazy tonight. He's going nuts. Oh, brother. Um, I've got, this is kind of cool too. I like this. This says, uh, Dear Jackie, Steve, Kurt, and Shelter Volunteers and Kitties. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving and holiday season. We are thankful for all you do. Um, may you all be safe, warm and happy, and warm and happy this winter. And this is from Carolina Ash, and Carolina Ash is from North Carolina. So I'm going to add this to my board out there with the one that we just got a few days ago from Nova Scotia. So if anybody wants to send us cards, I would love to keep adding on to that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And there's my notes. We also got, I think I might maybe know what this is. This says it's from the BP Medical Supplies. And let's see if it is, and then I'll know who it's from. Yes, this is from um, Sandra B who sent us all those wonderful instruments last week. These are really nice. These are the forceps and they have the teeth ones. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got the teeth grippers here. These are really nice and I keep these extra nice ones in um, the little plastic sleeves so they don't get scratched or anything. Um, Sandra is from uh, Tuscaloosa, um, Alabama. So thank you. Uh, the stethoscope and the scissors, um, the clamps that we got last week are all from, from her. I appreciate it. It made me clean out all my instrument drawers and our cold pack and everything to make sure that we're organized again with our instruments. So thank you so very, very much. Octavia, what are you doing up there? Um, I have a surprise for you. Uh, give me half a minute. I gotta go get the critter. Whoa, it's okay, CJ. All right, CJ. Hey, Daisy. Mm -hmm. Come here. Come on. Come on, you said it was okay to do it. Now, just so you don't get upset or worried, I asked, oh. <laughs> that was the gun shooting off. I asked Putter if it was okay, and Putter said, sure, cowboy, cowgirl, it's okay, just as long as you follow the law. This is Sheriff Putter the Sheriff. He says, you guys all know I'm the sheriff. You best behave. He's got a very, very, very important thing to ask you all, too. Whoops, don't cover up the face, huh, Putter? <laughs> okay, Putter, can you blow him a kiss? I say sheriffs don't do that. Isn't he awesome? He's just the best cat in the whole world. Uh, yeah, he sent his deputy, Octavia, to try to go to reform school for thieves. Uh, okay, come on, buddy. 
We love ya. He's just the best boy. Oh, I didn't want to make that snap. Um, we also have another gift here. I'm going to pull it up here. We had a wonderful visitor this afternoon, and it was from uh, the webcam viewer, DLC. She was here for quite a few hours this afternoon, got to visit again. She's been here a couple times, and I missed her before. But she came in bearing gifts, and she's got two of these cases of the um, chicken, the chicken selection. And there's a whole bunch of a variety of the Fancy Feast cams. And in this one, this is also from DLC. Oh, more whisker lickings. I got to keep track down here and make sure Octavia doesn't get over here. But look at this. She also brought some of the Fancy Feast appetizers. This is what we're using to get... Um, Magenta and, uh, well, Magenta and uh, the five little kitties to eat a little bit better. I don't think we have to worry about uh, Weasley anymore. He's getting quite big. Thank you, DLC. Appreciate that very, very much. Very, very. And we're going to take these off so I keep track of this. And then... I had also just wanted to let Sunny Cat and Hubby know uh, they sent a donation in honor of the four new little kitties, which I'll show those to you here in a little bit. And they asked if we could name one of them Zoom, which we will. Tomorrow I'll try to let you know the names of all those four new kitties that came in, but I'll, I'll go over that and then we'll um, show them to you. I also wanted to let you know, you know, this weekend when Silly Six was here, this weekend, she came back, on, her and her friend came back on Sunday morning, and, you know, we had been running really low on the large styrofoam plates, and they brought in six, about that tall, of um, bags of uh, styrofoam plates, so I really appreciated that also. And I missed a question last, last night. Feline Toys asked how many barrel cats we have. I don't know if Feline's on or not, but... If she isn't and she comes on later, maybe someone can let her know that we have five now in that. We had six, but we haven't seen one of them for a long, long, long time. And then also in the, the uh, gray barn out there, we have um, six cat, seven cats out there as well. So uh, there's, there's five in the big red barn and seven cats in the gray barn. The gray, the gray barn kitties, so we can touch when we go into the barn. They'll, they'll settle down in there and let us touch them. And we have somebody, this is really super cool news, we have somebody interested in Badu. And this man called today, he's going to come maybe, what did he think, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, or Saturday. He was just going to try to work his schedule out to our, our schedule. And he lives all by himself. And I think that that will be awesome. There's no other, there's no kids, there's no cats, there's no dogs. And he's very interested in Badu. So keep your fingers crossed and we'll let you know as soon as um, we do what's going on. I did hear from Cabbage and Cabbage is doing awesome. And the two cats have become friends. And Cabbage has been minding his manners. So as long as I keep, I did ask him not to give him any catnip though because he gets super crazy with that. So the four kitties that we were talking about, um, this morning I was in here working real early in the morning and um, my er, KW was on the bench over there or on the catwalk uh, at the window and just as I looked up his ears went up and his whiskers went forward and you could tell he was at alert and just at the, at the same time I heard a little pew so I ran over and got my my itty bitty pathetic flashlight and I went out and I don't even think I really would have had to have a flashlight because I just got out the door and squatted down and here kitty 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 real soft and sweet to him here comes two running right over to me and it's pitch black out there so I picked him up and came in showed him to the cam real quick and then took him into Thumper's room and put him in the pen 
And so then I went back out and I had to go in front of the enclosure, the, the outdoor enclosure that we have, and squatted down and called again and I heard through the leaves a couple more of them coming and they came right up to me. They're so cute. And they were not in the you know, outdoor enclosure. They were um, just left and jumped off. And then when I came back around to bring those two in, I found a plastic bag that someone just laid on the ground lit with food in it. And of course we will take these guys, but I don't want to encourage people to do that because we really don't live far off that road. And that road is not a good road at night. And I, I actually went out, uh, Mary E and I did, Mary E and I did, um, to see if there were any other kitties that we could find. Um, and we didn't. I just had a feeling that maybe the mama or another kitty was out there, but we didn't find one. But what if one would have got hit by a, a car on that road? Not, not a good thing. So uh, let me answer the questions, and then I'll get the kitties that you all wanted to see. Hey, Stacy, you got a minute? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Birds R Us asked if you would tell us. No. You don't use it. See, Stacy doesn't know this. Come here, come on, no. just for a minute. Whenever any of the volunteers are here at night, they have a talk. They like to know how you got involved with us. Oh, you, come on. You want the real story? I want the. I want the modified real story. <laughs> How long have you been here? And here. Come on. Here. Come on. We know you're not shy. I am. I'm, I'm good. Two years I've been here. You've been here two years already? Mm -hmm. I think more so. Stacy, what are you going to do with her? They love her. They love you, Stacy. Uh huh. <laughs> um, Kent and Kat asked for Jim. Oh, where the babies were found? They were found right there in the front yard. They were not in the outdoor enclosure. It would have been safer, but they weren't in there. Uh, little little chap asked oh. if anyone was dressing up, and of course, only the only one that Putter would let dress up is Putter himself. Mika Ross asked if we could see Noogie, and when we're done here, I'll try to find Noogie. Uh, Frank, Mary Two, and Sherry Sweet wanted to see the newbies, and we'll get those out too. Um, DLC who visited want to know if we found CJ and you know we did and she's back in her pen right now but like two minutes ago she was right down there so she's progressing and we're not just putting her like here or here anymore we're taking her clear around the other side or in the office and and uh, this morning she stayed out of her pen for 40 minutes so we're progressing and she's pretty good with the other kitties now she's just doing so much better uh, Gusto asked, uh, I, must, she must have missed this because I thought I answered this yesterday. How many times we feed our dogs? They get their biggest meal for breakfast, so that's always like, you know, 4.30, 4.45 in the morning. And then early afternoon, they get another, they get like their lunch or their supper. And it's just a small portion, but every single time that the dogs go out and then they come in, we always give them a snack. So. Sometimes I think that that's why you guys hear the dogs barking because they went out so they can come back in again. They know they've got us red all the way. And hen cat, I might pronounce this wrong, hen cat. I think I probably pronounced that wrong. Wanted to know what cat was returned. And um, he's right now, I just, I thought I saw him jump out, but he's, his name is Tugger and I'll show him to you and uh, He's actually, tonight we left his, his uh, pin door open and he so wants to come out. You can tell he wants to come out. He's right at the edge of the door and he even was putting his paw out through there and reached up at the top. But he's not quite brave enough, but he's thinking about it. And Annie asked about the animal planet. Um, she had just read about that award that we had gotten. So just kind of briefly in a nutshell what that was. And, it was actually at the very end of 2008. Um, we were um, we were put up for the Cat Hero of the Year award, and we had to go through a whole process of um, votes. People had to vote for us, and there was there were several hundred uh, people that were nominated for it. 
and you of course had to be it could be an individual it could be somebody like here here with a rescue center but it had to be something significant with us uh, with cats and so these these hundreds of people then were voted oh excuse me no i made a mistake the people from the animal planet narrowed it down to 10 and uh, we got to be one of the 10 and i was just excited and thrilled and humbled and I, it was just more than what i could even imagine and then to do the next voting to get from 10 to the the winner of that that was done by vote similar to what we do for the animal rescue site but where we can vote every single day for that the animal rest or the animal planet you could only vote one time so we had it in our local papers we did not have the cam at that time we were much smaller um, but we wrote letters out to the people that we had done our um, surgeries on from earth angels we had written letters out to people that we had adopted out to over the years and just asked them to put in their vote and that we appreciated it and their Tucker just came out yay Tucker and uh, so the night that they called she the lady who called and to ask if it was Jackie Moss and I said yes and she said can you talk in private and so I knew right away it was it was them because of the caller ID and my hands were shaking like this and I so I went in the bedroom because we had people in there and I'm honest to God I was just literally shaking and she said that the, it had to be in confidence at that time that we but we had won so oh my gosh it was just it was just so ecstatic I was ecstatic um, we won $5,000 I, I couldn't tell anybody for it was like a month I think it was but we had a big big party here we had hundreds of people come and it was on a Sunday afternoon it was just fun we had a great big sign out front that said it was like real big said we won and uh, we got phone calls all day or probably for a whole week uh, different people would call and people going by would honk their horn and um, newspapers and a couple of TV stations got involved and did a big story on us and it was just awesome just it was really really cool we won five thousand dollars for that and we used that for medical stuff well no no I'm sorry I take that back we used that solely for um, PR of spaying and neutering getting books into schools um, addressing the needs of taking good care of your pets uh, but it, the big push was spaying and neutering with that so that was really really cool I loved it so I think oh I missed one um Siamese also wanted to see Hudson so I'll get that one Sonny asked if there was many any more info on Steve we heard today that he does for sure have to get a third um opinion and within two weeks now uh, we should get the appointment for him but they said that when that goes through then we should be clear for him to have his surgery CES or Charlie asked if we were down to one computer still well Kurt did get the, my computer my main computer on my desk all hooked up but we've left this in here yet with our laptop so we can still see uh, the chat right here in the rescue center and I think we're just going to leave it like that for a little bit longer so uh, my, but the main computer is, is hooked up now and CJ said that Octavia was very sweet and welcoming to a visitor and is this new that I uh, know um, Octavia can be really really sweet uh, but when it's almost like it's an overabundance then from her then she takes off it's like I've had enough that's it or if they get a little bit too mushy um, then then she's had enough Tugger is going to maybe make his way in here at school and Beth asked if I would gotten the two emails I did and I loved them very cute especially the one with the kitty and the owl I think I've had a couple people send me that now lately and I loved it I'm going to and thank you Beth I'm going to get Tugger since he's right here first Tugger come here come here honey buddy Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is Tugger. I had not heard the story about some of them about Jack at the airport, the cat that was missing at the airport for two months, but I understand he looks a lot like what Tugger does. And um, I just I just got off the phone right before um, we started here tonight from someone in Nevada that was interested in Tugger, but I told her that we don't do the transportation. So that won't work out. So this is Tugger. He's about five and a half years old. And uh, he's going to do just fine. What do you think? Tomorrow he's going to get a real big groom job. You know what, buddy? I'm going to put you right there so you don't get too far away from your pen. You're doing good. And um, Nobby is here. So this is Noogie. Isn't he growing? He's growing really a lot. But t but Tucker came out on his own, so he's. I think he's going to be okay. It's going to take a few days to adjust. But Noogie's doing good. This is Noogie. This is the cat that Judy S. found. And uh, it was Noogie is really Nougat, caramel Nougat. He's doing better. He's definitely more comfortable with cats than people, aren't you? But maybe somebody will adopt you and give you a good home and let you be just who you want to be, right? You know, he's a boy. When he came in, I don't know if some of you might remember, he had that really awful bite wound here. Still got a little bit of short hair, but he's doing good. I'm going to put you right here so you can decide where you want to go. And I'll go get those four new kitties. the two new calicos. These are the two first two that come running up to me. And these guys are going to be fine. They're, they, <laughs> are you okay, honey? So obviously these two are girls. But they purr and they purr. Come on up, baby cakes. They're really pretty. But they don't, they just don't seem shy whatsoever. What are you doing up there? So these were the first two. All right, can I get you? Or I'll go back and get the other two. Here, oh, there you go. Now you're settling down. So we'll get these for uh, spade on Saturday also. Okay, step them over. Step them over. already. These are torties. 
for the tigers. Look at the size of these ears. Check those babies out. Oh, what's in the other? Kind of have little long noses. Aren't they pretty though? Yeah, see, I got really big ears. They sure look alike, don't they? They're looking around, checking it out. You guys will be out here pretty soon. Yes, you will. Can you imagine adding four more kitties to this? Yeah. They've all been sleeping all day long. They had fleas on them, um, but not anymore. We got those all gone. Uh, and they did not have ear mites, so that's good. And their body weight is good. All right, let's go find your sissies. He thinks he's pretty big and big and brave because he's the one who let me know they were out there. Say, I saved him. Yeah, isn't he awesome? He's just awesome, aren't ya? He told me he gets embarrassed when I call him Pretty Willie. That's okay though, isn't it? Okay, down you go, big boy. And here's a kitty that's been growing like a weed. This is Tweenie. See how I'm getting to be a big girl. Aren't you? You getting to be a big girl? <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? You ready to you wanna get down rock and roll? And oh yeah, I'm into trouble all the time. Alright, go, go, go. Give me a big girl. Look who's here, CJ. Now I'm gonna leave her um I'm gonna leave her door open again tonight in her pen so she can decide if she wants to come out. She's she's doing so much better. See, I think I'm gonna decide to join this world. Huh. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? I know. Very, very cute. Alright, let's go back up. Oh, gosh, crazy puppy. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Here's Zelda. Zelda, Zelda. I love her. She's so sweet. Yep. Zelda, remember when she came? She had those awful, awful, awful wounds on her hips and she was just a, a skeleton. Those are long days past, aren't they, baby girl? Yep. She's, she's such a good girl. She's good with everybody. Aren't ya? Okay, go take off. Go find something to do. This is the boy. This is the brother to um, Kathy and uh, Chia. All three of these kitties are super, super wonderful. You know how I tell Claudius from the girls? Checked under the tail. Oh, he says, I'm so embarrassed. Don't do that to me. 
So he and his sissies will get neutered or spayed on Saturday as well. We're going to have to have an assembly line going. Okay, baby, girl, baby boy, off you go. He's a little bit tiny darker than his sisters. <coughs> Who's this handsome boy? Oh, they just look at my teeth hanging out. You know I'm Patty Fur. These two brothers are as different as night and day. Look at her, she's playing. She's tomorrow's gonna be even a better day for her. Look at this hair. It's huge. You'd be bald. You'd be a skinny, bald, naked boy. We shave that off, huh? Okay, down you go, Bubba. Off you go. Oh. Did I miss somebody that someone wanted to see? Oh, Weasley, of course. Twinkle, of course. Now, how much prettier can you get than that? The outfit's sleeping. And her collar still looks like new. I always say, Twinkle, you're our star. Aren't you? Aww. And she's never, ever, ever going to have another flea on her. Ever, ever, are you? Yeah, you stick with us. We'll take good care of you. She's purring. All right, let me go put you, put you where you belong. I hear you, Weasley. Just a minute. There you go. Oh, 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 Sarah. Take it easy, girl. He didn't ask to see Asha, but Asha wanted to say hi. Gotcha. Mm. Say hi, everybody. Aww. If you guys ever, ever get to come visit, you have to hold her because she'll hug up on you. She just loves everybody. You want them to come see you? Yeah, say yes, I do. Isn't she pretty? All right, you got to get down. Oh, I like picking her up because when I pick her up, she squeaks. Okay. All right, little boy. Come on. That wasn't Weasley, that was whining in there. That's Shalann. And the reason that Weasley wasn't whining, can you see his little tufts of fur that's all soaky wet? Bella was giving, oh my gosh, she really got you wet. She was giving him a bath. Say hi. And look, we got a big old belly. Big old tum tum. You're still a whiny boy. You're still a whiny boy. What are we going to do with you? They just love me. Yeah. I know. I know. Let's go put you back. Let's go put you back. I just saw somebody. Come here. There's wheels. He always nibbles my finger. 
Oh, Jesse, those are kisses. Those are little love kisses, Mom. Oh, my goodness. How cute can you be? Huh? What do you want to do? He's also going to be on the neuter list Saturday. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't do it to me. Yep, it's got to be done. Gotta be done. Now be careful, because I'll see you pull up to the girl. I'll leave you there. Anybody else you wanted to see? <laughs> oh, yeah. You can come help me, Sherry Sweet. I'd love it. Hudson. Let me look around. And Nuki. Hudson and Nuki. Look at that. Isn't she just so darn cute? Because I have a little different shaped head than those other three girls, or other three great silver kitties. And her boo boo on her leg is so much better. We'll probably do another soap tomorrow. She almost lost her, her uh, little inside toenail on that. Isn't she cute? I think your mommy's on there. Snooky on there. What? <laughs> then someone should collect the hair from the naked kitties. <laughs> Aww. Okay, let's go back into Bella. Go back into Bella. Let's go back there and we'll see if Hudson is back here. Oh no. Maybe I'll put that over here. Okay, you guys. already neutered. But we don't have to do you again, do we? Heck no. You want to see who Cammy? Cammy, my dog, Cammy? Cammy, my doggy? And I'll keep looking for Hudson. Yeah, you guys, do you guys know the story on Cammy? Yeah, she came here, um, gosh, it'll be two years. Uh, it's almost two years. Yeah, yeah, Severn remembers. Um, we had gotten word that this house out in the country had way, 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 way too many cat dogs. And um, so we were able to go rescue the, we were, they had agreed that we could take, I think it was 13 dogs off of their property. Um, and so a whole bunch of us went, Paul went and helped us too. The dog warden went with us and uh, yeah. Um, so we went out there, it was cold, it was snowy and these dogs had no protection. They were all on chains. Every single one of them was on heavy chains. And Cammy was the first one that they brought up. 
and I just cried. I, it just broke my heart. Um, her right here, like on a cat or a dog that where the hips are, you could stick your fingers straight down. Well, now she's like this wide, but you could stick them straight down. She was almost dead. She wouldn't have lasted another 24 hours. And um, she was shivering. She was so cold, and I kept my truck running because I knew the dogs weren't in good condition. And I, I, she had to be carried. She was so so weak, couldn't even pick up her head. And uh, then they brought these three puppies, and they these puppies were the only fat things on the land. Um, and these puppies were not chained. They had free access to run around. So I imagine they went from dog to dog to dog and was eating the food that was given to the other doggies. But the puppies we got adopted, not until they were neutered first. But I, I've told this before, but I will never forget um, the second day that Tammy was here, and I kept her and the babies in June's room. I, pull, I sat down in there with her, and I pulled her in my lap, and she, I will never forget her face. She looked at me like, what are you doing to me? Because I was hugging her, and she had no clue what that human contact was. Absolutely no clue. And now, now she does, though. We love her. Took a long time. Do you guys remember I had to um, pick her up for days and days and days and carry her out to go potty? She couldn't even stand up. She was pretty cool. Okay, well let me put jeepers down and I'll go leave the doggies out because they have to go out to go potty anyhow. Hmm? The big one's Jazzy. The little white one is a Shih Tzu. And this, hey Jazz, come here. And this one is Cammy. Come on. And and as you can see, she's not skinny anymore. Uh, do you want me? Do you want me? Yes. Come on. Oh, let's go outside. Go potty. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. You guys. everybody. Thank you for the gift. We'll make sure that Greg gets his m and and that he shares them with everybody. Uh -huh. And as I'm putting things around, I will look for Hudson yet. Are you quiet? Yeah. Oh, oh, and please remember to vote. Uh, I, uh, I don't remember exactly, but we had been 
2.19 and I think this morning it was 2.24 I think it was does anybody know but it was awesome so we jumped up a little bit over the weekend thank you guys for your vote keep us in first place please please vote and thank you so very much all right guys did you see that that we jumped up yeah. on the voting we were or on the voting we were 2.19 and I think it was 2.23 here this is, this is, you're the one they wanted to see there he is Hudson boy he says I will get in trouble with everybody out there cause you are Hudson huh Uh, he looks so darn cute, but man, is he ornery, aren't you? Yeah, I'm an ornery boy. I like everything. I just love everything. Okay, off you go. Okay. I think I need to put my dog in the bag. Not tonight, no. Thank you.